listen to WKP. Today we're going to be tracking Claudette, which is now a tropical depression, but Claudette could reform uh, into a tropical storm out over the Atlantic Ocean again, but I do expect to see more weakening of Claudette over land. Right now, Claudette has winds of around 30 miles per hour, and I do expect Claudette to go down to around 25, maybe even 20 miles per hour before re-entering the Atlantic Ocean. Right now, as you can see, uh, the internal temperatures of Claudette are just so much more than what they were yesterday. Uh, yesterday, we were getting temperatures around negative 60, and now we're only getting around negative 17 uh, Celsius. So that means it seem that means that it's weakening a lot. So I do expect this storm to not uh, strengthen much more until it moves out over water once again. So I expect that we'll see the wind speed in this thing decrease to around 25, maybe even 20 miles per hour before re-entering the Atlantic Ocean. Here's the official track for the storm. As you can see, it's going to stay a depression until it gets to the North Carolina coast where it could re-strengthen into a tropical storm, though I don't believe it'll uh, re-strengthen into a tropical storm until it gets out around here because, um, because of how much it has weakened in the last bit and how it's really just not looking very compact anymore on the satellite imagery. I'm guessing we're not going to see it re-strengthen as quickly as originally predicted, but we'll just have to wait and see. As far as wind speed probabilities go, we could be seeing some tropical storm wind um, in North Carolina and South Carolina, though we'll likely see wind gusts of tropical storm uh, winds for these areas. Let's take a look at the U.S. rainfall potential. Luckily, it looks like we there could be a possibility for flash flooding, but it doesn't look like a major uh, flash flooding issue, though I would expect for areas in Charleston to receive some heavier amounts of rain around two to four inches, which if you know Charleston, that is enough to flood in Charleston. So uh, we could expect some minor flooding, especially down in downtown Charleston. Uh, definitely some minor flooding there. So flash flooding um, chance, there is a 10% slight chance for anywhere from Savannah um, all the way up to around Raleigh and Durham. And I would definitely expect some of those areas to receive some minor flash flooding uh, like I said, Charleston could also be seeing that. Let's take a look at the surge because we will be seeing just a minor bit of surge around one to three feet. So nothing very major from this storm. And of course, uh, North Carolina will probably receive some of the worst for inland effects because it's um, predicted to become a tropical storm before it enters the Atlantic Ocean once again, though I do, don't do think it'll become a tropical storm before entering the Atlantic Ocean. It'll likely form uh, into a tropical storm after it enters the Atlantic Ocean and has time over water. Thank you, though, for watching, and stay tuned for my website because I'll have a spoken short update on this. Thank you for watching. This has been WKP.